Did she say she squirts it out? <coughs> did she say she squirts it out? <laughs> <laughs> That's f***ing <laughs> disgusting. You're the one who watched the video. Yeah, I mean, but it's so <laughs> gross, bro. Yeah, we got a video for y'all. I don't know okay, what it is. Let me give some backstory. Backstory. I was scrolling through my subscriber feed as one does on YouTube. Adult friend finder. And I'm subscribed to these people, Strawberry Park. They were reacting to this video, and I started to watch it. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped watching it because I wanted to save it for us. Mm -hmm. But I've seen some of it, and I want to see your reaction to what I've seen, and then further react to the stuff that I haven't seen. He's seen some shit. So I'm the video is by this guy named Tyler Oliveira? I think you know him. Probably. Oliveira? Yeah, you know him, I don't right? know. He goes to crazy places, like dangerous places, and does interviews, like... See, I'm, so, I'm sorry, but that's like some white people. Bro, I swear to God. Bro, going to Skid Row? What black man have you seen go up interviewing people in Skid Row? My people are just like, we have this code word that's for everything that's like, we're not going to do. Fuck that shit. <laughs> and we go off. Right All now. I got to say is, like Kanye said, no more parties in LA. And by the way, this video is definitely getting demonetized, but... but... What do you do? Where are we at? We are at my warehouse office space. What happens in this warehouse, potentially, allegedly? So during the day, me and my business partners, we work here for a VR startup. And okay. during the night, we have sex parties and normal parties. It's not what people expect, where you go into a room and everyone's having sex. Okay. We do kind of like a Berlin sex party themed event that's just like censorship free. Because I come from like a fine arts background. I have a lot of friends who do like performance art and they're always like looking for a place to... Fuck. They're looking for a place to fuck. You know what I mean? Look. Is that a pig? Yeah. Why is there a pig in a sex dungeon? They're trying to fuck. How do you, how you sign up? To this? For this? Just, just just asking for a friend. You want to sign up to this? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I need to okay, know the, the details. Okay, bet. Like I said, I demon need... in that one episode. You want to sign up for Mill Manor? You want to sign up for this? <laughs> bet. Bet. Okay. How much would it cost to attend a party, theoretically? Oh, it's really cheap. We do like $35. $35? For... We're very careful with like selecting people. So we actually like video interview them oh. and have them fill out application. Imagine like doing a whole interview, video interview, just to get pegged. Like, like, <laughs> so you- Oh, that's what you think it is. I don't know. Oh, you think it's pegging? Okay, bet! Maybe bet, I don't know, I'm just reacting. Bet. Uh, the first- one we did, we flew out a dominatrix, her name is Dasha from New York. All right. And she piss boarded this girl on stage. What is piss boarding? Like waterboarding, but with piss. Oh, you wanna sign up? Why does she, why does she need to describe piss boarding? <laughs> I think I got the fucking picture. Oh no, you, you, think, <laughs> yeah. you think that's the worst part? So as soon as she landed in LA, she started collecting her pee. So she got like jugs and jugs and jugs of pee. Okay. And she was storing them in Ben's office, actually. Lucky man, Ben. She said it wasn't enough pee. So she, we had a, um, a few like friends and like, the adult industry who came who were into like porn stars or yeah, porn stars and they all donated pee so we had jars and jars and jars and jars you want to sign up then, yeah. <laughs> i'll get you the website right now where's my phone <laughs> I don't know why it's like donations. You know when you give blood at the hospital? Oh, I was just thinking like they're just blood. Like, Speaking of blood, no, oh, fuck, we're gonna get. Hey, let me cook. Let me cook. <laughs> let me cook. Don't tell me none. Just like you know when you go to the hospital, hey, take my blood. You know like when you give blood for yeah. uh, for for uh, patients. Yeah, just donating pee. Hey, can you come through and just like piss in a bottle real quick? I just need like, I just need your piss. I'm trying to piss board somebody real quick. You know, they're trying to drown in my right. ex existential fluid. She had this girl lay on the stage and they put a towel over her head and then like started piss boarding her. And then she got like a butt plug that had a funnel in it and then put it in her ass and then poured the rest of the piss in her ass. And then she like squirted it out. <laughs> Sorry, <Mom. laughs> That is fucking disgusting. And then, did she say she squirts it out? <coughs> did she say she squirts it out? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking disgusting. You're the one who watched the video. Yeah, I but mean, it's so <laughs> fucking gross, bro. How do you discover that you're into this? That is some extreme activity. That's not no, like a I normal thing. Even, I can't even. That's a, bro, there's still more? They don't do it like this in Berlin. <laughs> blood boarding. Oh yeah, we did blood boarding. Oh, oh we... fuck no. Dang. Did you hear that? Yeah. I don't know why they call LA the city of angels when it's a fucking hellhole. It's the city of demons, yeah, bro. It's, it's a fucking hellhole. 
It's a fucking satanic Sa- city. Satan runs that fucking city. Yeah. They call it Hell A for a reason. Hell A, man. This is a side topic, but this is what happens when you watch too much porn. Because it's not like regular sex, it just doesn't do it for you. So you keep going down the rabbit hole, and then you get into shit like this, and then it goes further, and you get into like Jeffrey Dahmer territory. I'm still all, I'm still stuck on the last one, and then the butt plug with the porn people. Like, where, how do you discover this? How do you discover you like this? So I'm saying you watch porn, and then it's not enough. You have too much sex, it's not enough, and then you're just like, I need more. It's bloodboarding. Like waterboarding, but with blood. Well, this girl, she went on stage, and her girlfriend put like an IV in her leg and drained her blood, and then waterboarded her with her blood. Yeah, but that's that makes me she, sick. To, <laughs> to <laughs> you know what? You know, I gotta. That makes me sick to my stomach, bro. Oh, I can't even, bro. That makes me queasy, bro. Like I'm never going to LA. I'm not going to no parties in LA. If we get ever ever to the point where we're like getting invited to parties. And they're like, no phones, you have to sign an NDA. <laughs> Fuck no, bro. I'm staying home I'm and playing video home. games, bro. I'm hanging out with streamers. I ain't hanging out with these fucking weirdos. Even um, then, some some of those streamers, you never know. They could be going to these fucking weird parties. Hey, yo, Kai, please don't tell me you're doing that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have that weird gynecology chair we've done performances on. Uh, but usually I tie my dog to that when I'm working if he needs to be tied up. Oh, Why do you look? subject your dog to that? Yo, the dogs. PETA! Where the fuck you at, dog? Yo, Yo Pita, Have you heard of Pita. Doggy Daycare, bro? <laughs> Pita, we need you! Pita! World Wildlife Foundation. Or fun, whatever the fuck. WWF. You better come because I be beating up pussy. Ha ha ha. That was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> there was this girl. She she messaged me and she was saying she was like, oh, you know, like she was like, I just want to say like thank you so much, like you know, because like I came to your event and me and my boyfriend of like you know like two years, like we finally started talking about our kinks and being able to open up. And she was like, I had the best sex I've ever had. Like I thought it's I was magical, you know, like throwing parties and whatever. But I never thought that you know this would actually inspire people to like have a better sex life. I had the thank best you sex for life. thank you for opening me up, me and my boyfriend we bloodboard each other every night now inspiring people to have a fucking degenerate sex life this is heathen heathenism how about we just go swimming let's go golfing let's go to the beach <laughs> how about we just like just have normal sex you know back in my day yeah back in my day <laughs> normal sex you would lay down flat on top of her <laughs> and pile drive as much as you can it's probably gonna be a short video. <laughs> what do you want to say? We can discuss a little bit. The porn industry is so fucked up. You don't know what you're watching. You don't know, like, what happens behind the scene. You don't know how these people are treated. There's been cases where there's been underage people on Pornhub. You don't know what the fuck you're watching. Yes. First of all, yes. that. Then yeah. second of all, it's it weird. fucks with your dopamines and makes you want to be into weirder and weirder shit. And third of all, you should be disciplined enough not to give in to your sexual desires, especially us as men. We should be able to control our sexual urges, and I don't think porn helps with that at all. You know what's crazy? So when you think about how many things you have to pay for in this world, but why is porn so free? Like, why is it just free? You can just access it anytime you really want to. Because there's ads. Because it keeps us down. Yeah. Mentally. And Vibrationally. Vibration, yeah. Like, that's just disgusting. Bloodboarding and piss. Like, piss boarding, like... There's kinks, and then there's just Satan. Satan shit. He, heathenism, as you said. Yeah. And then where does it go from there? Like, torture it's, sex? Like, what the fuck? Sacrifice sex? Yeah. <laughs> like, literally. Bro, literally okay, that's that's like literally where it goes, bro. Exactly. Think about the elites in Hollywood. They're probably doing that shit. No, they are doing that shit. Sex should be a sac- like a sacred thing that you do with your partner. And I'm not at the point I'm not on this all the way on the like Mormon side either. I'm not like, oh, you should wait until marriage, but I also think you should control it and it shouldn't be an addiction just like anything else. It's good to get to know your partner too before marriage. I feel like. For yeah, me. For I, me. If, you're, I, I if you're a Mormon or you're a Christian, then that's you. But like that's in you. my in my opinion, it's like, 
you're event you're gonna have sex before marriage. If you hold off, hey, respect to you. Yeah. Could not be me. <laughs> could not be me. Like My. however many years ago, could not. Fuck no. I was ready to get my rocks off, man. <laughs> Expeditiously. But how do you want to end it? Protect your soul, protect your aura, protect your energy. Stay away from heathens like this. And don't ever go to L.A. Unless you're watching a Lakers game. Facts. That's it, that's it. L.A., the city of demons. <laughs> yeah, see y'all later. Subscribe.